The inject function is something that has existed in Angular for a long time, but a little while ago, since the release of Angular 14, it has become a whole lot more useful. So first, what is it exactly? Essentially, it allows you to inject dependencies using a function like this, instead of using the constructor like this. So the inject function immediately struck me as just being a nicer way to do dependency injection, and I wanted to switch to it. But being as drawn to shiny new things as I am, and because I do quite a lot of teaching, I didn't want to just switch to the fun new toy under my own accord if the community at large was going to stick with constructor-based dependency injection. So I let things settle for a while, did some research, talked to some people in the Angular community who are more sensible than me, and came to a conclusion. I am going to switch entirely to just using the inject function, and I feel comfortable in recommending it as a default for everyone. Now, it is important to keep something in mind about the inject function that can cause issues, and we'll get to that in a moment. But first, let's cover what I think are the main benefits of using the inject function in the first place, aside from just this one looks nicer than that one. But the main thing for me is pretty much just that though. It looks and feels nicer. We don't have to type out the constructor in most cases, and I think this is a lot more obvious and explicit about what is happening versus constructor injection especially for beginners. Even if you don't have a solid understanding of dependency injection and providers and tokens and all of that, I think it is a bit more realistic for beginners to look at this and make some intuitive conclusion about what is going on. Something is being injected here. Even if you don't fully understand what that means, it gives you more to work from. And just by the way, if you are interested in more technical details about how dependency injection works, I'll have a link to my other video on that topic in the description. So that's nice, but one super practical benefit of using the inject function is in cases of inheritance. Now, personally, I am one of those composition over inheritance type of people and avoid inheritance if I can, but it is useful sometimes, and sometimes you are just unavoidably working in code bases that use it. So the typical scenario is this. You have some kind of base class with functionality you want to share like this. This is just a silly example, but I'm setting up a class member that has access to the current history. And to do that, I need to inject the location service from Angular. Now in any other component, I can just extend that base class and have access to whatever I put in there. So you can see here, I am accessing that history class member, even though it's not defined in this class, it is defined in the base class. The problem here though, is that for this to work, we need to call super in the constructor and pass up the arguments for the base class's constructor. So that means we also need to worry about injecting the location service here as well, even though we aren't using it in this class, just so we can pass it up to the base class. And this gets worse when you want to make changes to the base class. Let's say I want to add this user service now, so that any classes that extend this one have access to the current user's username. So now we need to go to any class that is extending this class and inject the new dependency into the constructor and pass it to the base class with super, making sure that we keep everything in the right order as well. So this makes changes very awkward, especially if we have a lot of classes extending this base class. We're gonna have to go and change every single one of those every single time we make a change in the base class. Now inject doesn't have this problem. We can inject whatever we like in the base class, add or remove things as we please, and none of the subclasses have to worry about changing their implementation. There is no need for a super call cool anymore. We can just extend that base component and then use what we like. So these are not the only benefits. Uh, there are all sorts of creative patterns the inject function has enabled, and there are benefits for type inference as well. But I think for most people, the benefits are just the simple things, a nice syntax, and it's a bit easier if you're using inheritance. But the problem the inject function has is that you can attempt to use it wherever you like because it is just a function. However, if you try to use it outside of an injection context, it will not work. You can only use the inject function during constructor time, basically the moment an object is created from a class and the constructor is run. You can't use the inject function after this phase has finished. So this means we can use the inject function inside the constructor if we want, or when we are initializing fields. But if we try to use it inside of an ng on a init or in a method, it is going to fail. These methods are triggered after the constructor phase and dependency injection will not work at that point. So it's a little less safe in a sense, you can get it wrong, 
Though I don't think this is too much of an issue. Most people will just be using it like this in place of constructor injection. And if you did mistakenly try to do something like this, well, you will quickly be told that that is not allowed. So that's my justification. I think the inject function provides a slightly nicer developer experience. It has a few benefits and negligible downsides. And I might've been more cautious about adopting new patterns like this since constructor injection is so well established. Uh, why fix what is mostly not broken? But it really does seem to be the Angular Renaissance at the moment and a whole bunch of stuff is changing. So it seems like a good time to reevaluate these sorts of patterns and come to some kind of a consensus as a community as to what future Angular will look like. So what do you think? Are you going to switch to using the inject function in your projects or will you just stick with constructor based injection? All right, that's it for this one. If you like this video and would like the algorithm to inject more into your home feed, uh, please consider leaving a like or subscribe before you go. And I hope to see you around for the next video.